the favourite drawn in gate one. They're set. The two-year-olds are ready. The favourite kissed the breeze. Racing, he fired her out pretty well, kissed the breeze, but she's going to be headed initially by Carolina Reaper, stares and whispers, and also Classic Jack going forward. And so Kiss the Breeze was able to settle up there fourth on the inside. She's in a handy spot from Kakadu. And then Party Night being followed over on the outside at the head of the other's mouth. Karate trapped a little bit wide as Princess Piero boots up quickly along the rail. Now we tracking it and then came off the fence, being followed further back by Dua Pataki, losing ground. Over on the inside behind those, then as they come down the side of the track is Hidden Figure, who's back with Sayetta. Classic Pro and Zip Zam Zoom last of all. The debutante leads them to the corner, stares and whispers. It'll straighten up in front from Carolina Reaper. Now Pike brings Kiss the Breeze into the clear. Outside of it, Classic Jack and Princess Piero is searching for a run just behind those. He's having a look around, but Kiss the Breeze races up. It grabs the lead. It's Kiss the Breeze at the 100 mark. Now Princess Piero, she finds a bit of space on the inside she's coming but kiss the breeze has got a break down the outside zip zam zoom but kiss the breeze remains unbeaten kiss the breeze beat zip zam zoom princess piero looked a little bit unlucky and now we flew at them as well late they finished just in front from classic pro kakadu sayetta a handy run from dua pataki over on the outside then came mouth karate then carolina reaper back in the field hidden figure classic jack next home party night and stairs and and whispers had put the cue back firmly in the rack after straightening up in front and is amongst the last of them in. Kiss the breeze. William Pike gets home on the favourite there. Big effort by Zip Zam Zoom, uh, the first starter. Charging late, Princess Piero needed to really build momentum. She's not an 1100 horse and she got held up searching for runs. Pike, though, had kissed the breeze off the fence at the right time and she was able to kick, kick strongly. Now we finished on full of running. In fourth placing, back there fifth is Kakadu, but it's two for two for Kiss the Breeze, the star witness filly from Paris Hart. Part owned by Electra Bloodstock, managed by James Christie. Didn't start the day on a great note, but this has certainly made up for that. Also with Horse Rail Australia's Ben Duncan, the Lumper Racing Syndicate, Anthony Van der Wielen, J. Van der Wielen, A. Miss S. Bell, the Hiller Girls Syndicate, and also the ACSF Syndicate, and the Boys Boys Racing Syndicate. There's so many others. Ronnie White, T. Mitsopoulos, R. Falcone, B. Evans, M. Hewitt, and also Mario Delina, as well as the Tiger Racing Syndicate. Uh, there's um, something like... 50-odd uh, owners, individual owners, directly involved here in the ownership of Kiss the Breeze. Beats Princess Piero. Number 12. A little unlucky, really, by Piero from Caesars Princess. Trained by Trevor Andrews, written by Chris Parnham. And Zip Zam Zoom is third in the photo of Viscount. Donana Smoothie Gelding, Fred Kersley, Julian Cocatello. And the winner will pay two even and a dollar ten. Princess Piero 180, Zip Zam Zoom 18 for the place. A half a length of nose of margins. The times 10591, 3612 sectional, two for two for Kiss the Breeze in taking out the tab touch plate. Now the third, the Sterling Plate 1100 for three-year-olds is the next on the card and there are no changes there. Look at the owners involved. There's many, many of them too with this Electra Bloodstock syndicated youngster who hasn't tasted defeat just yet. She looks very, very exciting. Let's go to Gareth Hall and he's about to catch up with some of the connections. Thanks, Macca. Hopefully we can catch up with Adam Durant shortly and see what he has to say about Kiss the Prize. I thought the other runners, Princess Piero and especially Narby, were really good. But Adam joins us here. She did everything right again. Yeah, she did. She, um, she sort of absorbed that pressure and she, she, 
probably didn't have that much business being in the box seat. She might have needed to be one spot back to be real comfortable. I'm sure Willie will probably agree with me in that, that sort of uh, assessment of it. But look, you've got to take the variables out and sort of just put her in that right spot. But look, she absorbed that well and, and she was exposed on straightening to, to get run down and, and she hung on. And I thought, um, I thought uh, Trevor's horse, he got held up, but it made a run at her and late she was actually holding it. A couple come down the outside, but... You know, I, I thought it was a good effort for a first up run. There's a bit left in the tank for two weeks, and it's nice, uh, nice to kick off well. Is that her grand final, the Magic Millions, or you push on towards that Karakata plate? And how much improvement left in her towards the Magic Millions? Will that be a grand final when you say, OK, I have to have this filly at 100% here, ready to go? Oh, look, you just, I don't think I'll make any decisions. We're just going to enjoy the ride and, and let her tell us. She, the good thing with her, she's such a professional. She, you put a feed in front of her, she eats it. You point her out the back to where she works, she works. You point her in the water at the beach, she charges in. Everything you do with her, she tells you that she wants to do it. So as soon as she's not going to want to do it, she's going to tell us as well. So we'll just, um, just see how she goes after today. And, um, you know, the plan is the Magic Millions, then hopefully the Karakata. That's always a dream, but we'll just see what happens. Is she better than a Cetra? No, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not Come gonna, on. No, I, I, on, Adam. I like both the girls, oh. but, yeah, you, you'll see a pretty good horse in a couple of weeks' time as well that's uh, a little bit of a different colour, but, yeah, very special, both of them. Always knew you were a fence-sitter. Well done, anyway. Thank you. There's Adam Durant there, the winning trainer with Kiss the Breeze, and he's got a couple of really nice two-year-olds in his barn, including Kiss the Breeze, and the is a smart one that we saw here. Well, I think it was on New Year's Day, Maddie Kelly. I think she's the best out of the... The Durant runners. She was a big striding filly, and boy, oh boy, she was impressive. But it'd be interesting to see what Willie Pike has to say about this filly, Kiss the Breeze. The punters are hugging their television sets. Adam Durant tipped this two year old as his best for the day. He tipped two horses last Saturday, they both saluted. We're taking on board all the advice that he's giving, and he's producing yet again. And our pockets are filling as a result. We'll just catch up with William Pike very quickly before he sneaks into a photo with the connections. I've been beaten to it by the photographer. Very keen to get his thoughts on the, uh, his assessment of this Phillies performance. We'll just uh, give him 30 seconds to have a photo with what looks to be a good 40 uh, co-owners here and a successful trainer, Adam Durant. But plenty of other stories to come out of this race also. Princess Piero, she's certainly a one to watch going forward. And Zip Zam Zoom, not too sure if uh, many punters had her figuring and she's flown down the outside. The seven Nawi, brave yet again. William Pike, we get to catch up with you. I will just uh, grab your quick assessment of that performance. How did you rate that win? Uh, it was a tough tradesman-like win. Um, I pushed the button early and she was up to the task. And going past the winning post, the feeling of how much improvement there is to come heading into the Magic Moons? Um, I think if I can sort of ride her a little bit differently, I think there's plenty more there. As I said, I think I pushed the button fairly fair bit too early today and left myself quite vulnerable late. But I think that's also a testament to how tough she is. That uh, I was able to press the button early and she kept hanging on. Connections are wrapped. Punters are too. Well done. Thank you. William Pike, successful aboard Kiss the Breeze. The odds on pop. She was very, very impressive in the trial and she's backed it up and been very impressive here today. To take out the two-year-old event, race number two. We'll be back with race number three in about 30 minutes' time.